What is up, ladies and gentlemen? We are back. With some more Red Dead Redemption 2. We're going to do a little bit more uh, story mode. Hi. Uh, okay, so I think we were going to hang out here and see what takes place uh, because we robbed this lady. And supposedly the robbery is not complete until our sons come home. And so I believe we've camped all night. I think we'll brew a little bit of coffee. And I've got some coffee. All right, why don't we go over there? Tear down camp first. Yeah, we probably need a good shave since our incident that took place last stream. I won't spoil it just in case. Uh, Let's get you looking good. In case you haven't watched the events of last stream. Uh, but we did have a pretty big story moment that was a uh, pretty, pretty big change. Alright, looks like the smoke is rising, so I don't know if she's still tied up laying on the ground, or maybe her sons have come to see her. Easy, easy. I don't know who's dumber, you, Ethan, Edgar, or Ezra. Keep telling you, Mom, we'll get you a new place. Anything you want. Ooh, ooh. A Bumblebee 203. Thank you for the host. I don't know why this cable is dangling right there. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Um, I'm going to get out the pump action, and we're going to keep the Springfield handy. Fur ya. And, uh, I think we'll have our shotgun. Okay, so it looks like her, her family is here. And she was threatening me um, as I was robbing her of her semi-auto shotgun that was in the basement. Which actually doesn't have very good stats on it. Base stats, at least, compared to the pump action. Okay, she's in her usual chair, but I can't see, I can't see 
I do see someone right there. And her mule is still gone. So I guess I guess we're just gonna go right in. Oh shit! Think blue. I I legitimately thought I accidentally fired my gun for a second there. <laughs> shit! Think blue, man. How's it going, dude? Good to see you. Wait, what? Oh fuck. Got them all. Got them all, Blue. Man, that was a cross draw, too. Four dollars. All right, let's loot these guys. This is actually, this is a homestead robbery, but this one took place in two parts. So I robbed this old lady, and I know you're thinking, you're thinking like, oh wow, Aaron, that's pretty low, you robbed an old lady. Well, you don't know the whole story, alright? She's like the leader of this gang, and, and these are the gang members here, which are her sons. And uh, she, you know, as I was robbing her, she was like, my sons are gonna come and get you, and I was like, I was like, let them try, okay, let them try, so... So I tied her up and left her on the front porch, and then sure enough, you know, we went and set up camp, ended the stream, start up today's stream, and, uh, you know, it's been a day, and, and here she is, and her sons were there. And so I'm hoping maybe that her sons have brought in a shipment of cash or something. Hopefully there's more here than what I'm just looting off of these guys, or maybe... Maybe I can find something. But they're all dead now. But yeah, the slow-mo sequence, that's that's Deadeye. And that actually launched... In this case, it launched automatically. But usually you have to trigger that yourself. I know she's got a lot of canned vegetables here. But I don't actually need them. And I don't have any more space! Um, looks like she's got some more jewelry. I already took some jewelry last time. Oh, and a coin port purse. Okay, and then she has, uh, she has, yeah, there's some, I guess we could search the cabinet in this drawer, too. Hmm. <clears throat> Dude, it's, it's going really well, and I... I really enjoy this game. So I think that's all of her sons. Yeah. Five total. And there were three bodies outside and then two inside. So yeah, we got everybody. Yeah, and then over here she's got like her secret cellar, which is where we found... The semi-auto shotgun. And this... Okay. Wow, is it gonna be there again? It's there again. That's kind of weird. No, give me my Springfield back. Oops. I already have it on my horse, so we're we're good to go. Um, so that's it, huh? 
Yeah, but I got a pump action, man, and it's faster and it deals more damage. It's it's got better stats, but I do I did already loot that semi-auto shotgun, but it looks like it did respawn. So that's cool to know that if you I guess if I don't even know if there's a way to lose weapons, but I guess if you ever did lose weapons like that, you you'd still be able to grab them. I wonder if that's it. Yeah, I guess it is. It's it's not on my list anymore. On my list of stuff. Um, oh yeah, dude, the game is absolutely gorgeous. And just wait until we, you know, find it on PC, you know? It's supposed to eventually come to PC. Um, I think the outlook is a couple of months or maybe a year. Yeah. But for now, Xbox and PS4, playing it on the Xbox One X today. And the online mode is out for everybody, but uh, currently I'm I'm just gonna go through the single player because only a few of my friends have this, and uh, none of them are getting into the online yet. And I felt while I was playing the online by myself, I was like, really, I should just be finishing up the single player. I felt bad, you know. Oh, yeah, the online's actually really fun, but you do have to have your friends, you know? It's not it's not something you'd probably jump on by yourself. Um, no, you're not in some deep story. We're just, we were just robbing a homestead, which is kind of a, a random side activity. So your posse can be one to four players if you want a small posse. Don't take that the wrong way. And if you want a big posse, <laughs> you can have one to seven players. And and so you have you have these two different size cans <laughs> that you can have for your posse and everybody can be in that posse together in that camp each with their own little bed and and you can order supplies and stuff to be delivered to your camp you customize your camp much like you do in the single player here like you you hunt certain animals then you can place them on uh, you know you can skin them and and have them as a rug or their skull as a as a you know decoration or something you know whatever you want to do so I mean stuff like that continues uh, I wonder if we should see what Albert Mason here wants do I dive in with online or single player uh, I'd, I'd probably do single player first honestly um because otherwise you're, you're gonna be really i mean they give you a little bit of a tutorial with online but the single player it's the way to go get into the game it's it's perfect yeah um so i haven't discovered all the map because i've but it's it's huge so like this isn't even i'd say this is like maybe a quarter of the map um, because there's still everything all over here from, uh, the first Red Dead Redemption. They've included all of New Austin, which ends right about here. And then all the stuff here is, is part of Red Dead Redemption too. This is, this is all new territory and it keeps, it even keeps expanding off to the, to the right here. But because I haven't discovered that, uh, we can't, can't look at that. But, uh, yeah, we're going to go see this wildlife photographer. We're up in the Grizzlies, which is meant to sort of be, maybe sort of be like the Rocky Mountains or something like that, you know? And uh, we're in one of my favorite places. I love, I love this this area. The So this is the big valley where Mount Shan is, which is great, which is great. It's wonderful to be up on that mountain. But this secret little creek here that runs through this beautiful valley. I, I, I'd build a house here 
and live the rest of my days there in peace if I could. All right. This area is just, it's breathtaking. You get the mountain view, you got the trees, you got, there's like, I don't know, there's these flowers that look like blue bonnets and they're just growing wild and, and you've got, you know, just this lovely stream. Yeah, and you got like wild horses, like, you know, it's just everything you want. So another thing you got to do is bond with your horse. So I can press a button and I can pat my horse, kind of comfort it. Because if your horse gets stressed out, it's going to buck you off. Like, say a wolf attacks you or a snake or something. You know, horses are typically afraid of wolves and snakes. So yeah, they're going to they're gonna freak out and buck you off. And also gunfights. You have to be very careful when you're in a gunfight. You know, your horse either needs to be really closely bonded to you or regardless you still need to be careful if you're in a shootout on horseback you know you do have to you have to be a little cautious so yeah i'm i'm trying to get this is uh actually duchess she's a white arabian horse and uh I'm trying to get her i don't know maybe you'll let me look at the stats yeah she's white uh white coat She's almost max speed if I can get some better gear for her. Her acceleration's really good. Handling's elite. I mean, she's one of the best horses in the game. And so you can also store your weapons on your horse. So any weapons I'm not carrying, he puts away on his horse. So it's realistic. You can't be a walking armory, you know? I actually found her. There's... This is kind of the horse that if you look up a video for like, oh, where do you find the fastest horse in Red Dead Redemption? This is the horse you're going to find. And uh, if you want to know, it's not a spoiler or anything, but you do find her um, right, right, right up here-ish around Lake Isabella. This is up in the snowy parts. Um, yeah. Had to mute the sound for immersion on this game. Holy fudge, it's magical as... Yeah. Yep. Completely understand. Yeah, the game is... Uh, the thing about this game is, is it's probably not a more immersive game than this right now. And some people say, oh, they took it too far with the realism, it's too realistic, but it's actually really cool. And so it's actually been several weeks, and so Arthur's beard has grown fully long, and his hair is kind of at a at a mullet right now. So, I mean, it's, it's grown really long because something happened, I'm not going to say what happened, and it's been a few weeks in the story. So, yeah, we're rocking the mullet for a little bit. You have to either go to a barber or back to camp. You got a shaving kit. But yeah, we're going full full Walker, Texas Ranger here, you know. Okay, something's... Oh, that's oh that's our buddy. Uh, I think this is him. Oh, no, no. No, this looks... No, this is unrelated. Hang on. These look like old Driscoll's boys. Hmm. So when I get off my horse, I can only have the gun on my side, on my sh shoulder sling, or, or my back sling. And then I can have my two sidearms uh, in there. And so what I'm going to do now... Damn it.
Well, we scared off their horses, so we won't get to loot them. Sometimes, if they had their horses tied in, then we'd be okay. Yeah, this is kind of a random encounter. Sometimes you'll encounter, like, rival gangs will just have camps in random spots. And it's completely random. They'll just be in... And the cool thing is, you know, you can... You get money and ammo off of these guys. Plus, you get to loot their camp, you know. They might... Yeah, they might have gun oil. There's some cocaine gum. Uh... Oh, oh, hang on. There's a medical box right here. Yeah, sometimes they might have food and loot and stuff. Yeah, cocaine was like a... Kind of a strange chewing gum. They had back then. Oh, oh, nope, nope. I didn't mean to do that. Hopefully it doesn't. No, it's going to make me do it. Oh, they got a, yeah, they got a, a cowboy coffee pot here. So, uh, there's, there's a whole eating thing that you have to do. Um, if you look here, so look, look above the radar there in the bottom left corner. We got a little heart there. So the actual heart is our eating. So I'm good right now. I could eat, but you know, I'm good. Uh, the bar around the heart is our health bar. So, imagine if that heart was not full, then my health would decrease faster, because you're starving, right? Uh, so, same with the stamina, which is the lightning bolt. I eat to replenish the inner lightning bolt, the outer lightning bolt is how long I can sprint or whatever, for example. Uh, then, the eyeball to the right of that is the dead eye. That also uh, is replenished by often... You know, chewing tobacco, well, no. Actually, it's, I think it's mostly alcohol and certain, certain types of food. Uh, and then the outside is, is the actual dead eye bar. But if you don't keep the inner ones, which are called cores, if you don't keep those uh, properly maintained, then, you know, you're going to have problems. So, yeah, eating, eating is a thing. Some people like it, some people hate it. I think it's really cool. Because, you know, you're always looting, you know, you go into a general store, you buy some food. You know, it's a very immersive game, and, and you can cook certain things to get health benefits, and, you know, for, you know, there's certain items, as you can see there, that fortify your health bar, which gives it, gives it sort of a yellow glow around it, which means, for a while, it's not de gonna decrease at all, which is, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a pretty interesting little dynamic. So there's different types of food you can cook. You can hunt animals. You know, you can just find food. You can eat it out of the can, whatever it is. And then you can set up a camp wherever you want and just start cooking. But since I'm at these, these guys' camps, these guys' camp, these guys' camp, I'm going to um, go ahead and borrow their coffee pot. Oh, there's some Kentucky bourbon. There's various types of alcohol with... Uh, different and varying effects but usually they're mostly for increasing your dead eye and you also might find you know maybe someone has a note on them or uh, maybe there's a treasure map or something like that you also have to feed your horse so the horse has the same thing uh, yeah seven grand so I'm I'm filthy rich right now in in the wild west this, this I'm like a freaking millionaire i th i think girl child did a look up yesterday and that was like i, I want to say how much was it how much was it i want to say it was in the millions like i would have been a millionaire i don't know you you might type it online and see how much how much it is but i think that was something like that yeah, so, you know, looting people is a good way because, you know, you'll get their, you know, their wedding ring, for example, or a pocket watch or something like that. And then you can go sell that at a fence or you can take it back to your camp. So because you're a bunch of, you know, cowboy thieves and stuff, you know, you have to donate to your camp, much like you're in the mob. You know, you have to, you have to bring in some sort of take. Well, the good thing about that is the take goes to making the gang better. 
you know it gets you better weapons more ammunition food health supplies all that stuff gets delivered to camp periodically and keeping the camp morale high is a good thing so uh, you have to manage all that stuff which you know some people think is a little over the top but I like it I like it and uh, th that means you can buy things too right like you can upgrade the camp I got us a, uh, a stable I got us a uh, chicken coop which gives us eggs for the stew which is available after noon so that's a free meal for everybody everybody can go over there and grab the stew and you get good benefits from that um, and then we got a boat so so now we have a boat we can row out and go fishing out in the open water instead of just doing it from the shore so that gives us access to different types of fish um, what year does this game take place it is 1899 so if you played the first Red Dead the the first Red Dead Redemption takes place in 1910 so this is technically a prequel this is set 11 years beforehand but we are interacting with the same characters that are in the first Red Dead so if you did play the first Red Dead which I highly recommend you do um, then you'll you'll have a bit of understanding here it's stupid good it's really good but sadly and what really pissed off the PC boys was that the first Red Dead never came to PC despite you know tons and tons of complaints and even GTA 5 managed to make its way to PC you know people were like well what the hell why hasn't Red Dead made it and so Rockstar knows this time and and so hopefully hopefully this game will make it within some reasonable amount of time I don't know can I I guess I can't borrow their coffee pot but yeah I can pull up this crafting menu and uh, I can craft anywhere I want but sometimes you'll need to have a campfire for certain things so I can make explosive cartridges uh, I need to make some small game arrows Wait, why is that asking for shotgun shells? That seems really strange. Alright, so these small game arrows... Oh, okay, that's why. Yeah, we use the actual shell. Uh, it's, it's a lighter sort of thing. Okay, that's as many of those as I can. So small game arrows have to be used on things like birds or rabbits or squirrels, chipmunks, you know, all that kind of stuff. So it's it's always good to have some small game arrows to use with, with your bow. Yeah, it's, it's kind of weird, but yeah. But yeah, I can craft ammo pretty much anywhere. Most of that stuff doesn't require uh, too much. But things like coffee and food, you know, you have to have a... You have to have a campfire. And so it's only showing these because I actually have like some beef on me. And then I can I can scroll to the right here and I can combine certain spices. So I can have regular just beef. Okay, good benefit, right? Or I can tab over, I can look at the effects. But yeah, since all my cores are full, there's really no reason to, to make anything right now. And I can also sleep, so you get benefits, you know. Obviously, your stamina comes back and stuff like that from sleeping. All right, so we've cleaned out this camp. We've looted these guys. We're good to go. Oh, and they had some clothes that they were washing there. There's blood in that. And you can't... Here's another thing. Super realistic. You can't just whistle from anywhere in the game like you do in, say, The Witcher or Skyrim or whatever it is and get your horse. Your horse has to be within a reasonable distance to you, and the higher your relationship is with your horse, the, uh, wait, why, why does it not say Duchess? Oh, okay, there it is, yeah, it says Duchess, okay. Um, yeah, so the higher your relationship, the longer distance your horse can hear you whistle, but that that doesn't mean that you you could be all the way in Mexico or something and whistle, you know. You can't do that. It's very realistic. 
So you do have to keep up with your horse. So if you're going on a carriage ride or something, it's always smart to whistle and have your horse follow the carriage. Yeah. Of course, you can always steal a horse. You can have multiple horses. You can have, I think it's like four in the stable. So, and four is pretty good. Oh, horse bonding just hit maximum. I can drift, hold X, and push the left stick left or right while moving to perform this move. Cool. All right, well, we've got we've got her uh, right up where we need her. We can look at our horse stuff. I'm going to give her some... Uh, let's see, do we have any oat cakes? Yeah, I'm going to give her an oat cake. So my cores are looking good. Her cores are looking good. No, I don't want a cloth mask. Yeah, I'm not in the cult. Alright, so we're going to go see our friend. He's a wildlife photographer. Often in need. Yeah, it's... See, it's like that. You can kind of just... It's like sidestepping. If you do it at high speeds, it's its pretty exciting. Yeah, that's all it is. It's like a good strafe. I don't know why they call it drifting. It's a little... It sounds like a little... It's like... It feels like we're playing Need for Speed or something. Let's see. We might have scared off our buddy here. No, it says he's here. Let's see what he's doing. We're fine. We're fine. As long as it doesn't pick up, we're fine. Hello again. Hello. Oh, hello. How are you, sir? Uh, Morgan. Mr. Morgan. I'm sorry, my... My nerves. I'm not quite the outdoor adventurer I thought. This is God's own country, and I feel I'm in purgatory. I know the freedom. No, I hope not. What you trying to take some pictures of, huh? Some more greedy coyotes? No. Wolves. Wolves? Well, you really are trying to get yourself eaten. Oh, I hope not. <laughs> I left the meat over there. I thought I'd be safe. Given the wind. Yeah, sure. You managed to attract the world's least intelligent wolf. Well, I... I... I'll stay with you a while. If anything comes, I'll protect you as needed. You are a gentleman. Now, you don't know me very well. Not to me. You're a gentleman. Usually, I'm worse than the wolves. You had many dealings with wolves, Mr. Morgan? Sure. But you've never been eaten. Not through lack of trying on their part. A while back, I helped a friend from getting devoured. Usually, they are not great fans of man. Don't blame them. Me neither. Hey, shh. There's one. Oh, two. Like we got company. You don't need to aim at them. Yes, yes, there they are. In the trees. Now, don't do anything. I'm going to take a few photographs. Come on. Come on. Uh-oh. They're calling their friends. Uh-oh. Stay back, stay back. Can't have a man in the frame. They think it's staged. Yeah, sort of is. Look at them. Magnificent creatures. Especially when clawing at your eyeballs. Come on. Stay still, my beauties. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm getting the pump action out. Mason. 
<laughs> that was tense. Yeah, they can be pretty aggressive. What a way to literally a dog's dinner. Still worse things happen at sea. Do they? Well, I imagine. Perhaps wolves do better at sea. Are they good swimmers? Well, who knows? You have saved my poor foolish skin once again. Don't mention it. Hot damn. I can't begin to repay my debt of gratitude. But no, I am eternally in your debt. I do, Mr. Mason, I do. You take care now. And you too, sir. Eh, I think I'm gonna loot those wolves, though. Well, just checking this equipment, if only my hands weren't shaking quite so much. First I was scared of the wolves, and now it's hydrophobia. I've got hydrophobia phobia. Oh, ruined. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if we're gonna be able to... Ah, uh, we might be able to get a few pelts, at least. Much longer tube. Yeah, shotguns, shotguns kind of ruin the pelts, so you have to be mindful of that while hunting. Good day to you, sir, and Godspeed. The only trophy I need is a photograph, and I hope it catches on. Yeah, and the skinning is like really. Oof. Yeah, you can you can make clothing with the pelts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, that one's ruined. You're a collector of pelts. Only in cases of self defense. Yeah, the horse, yeah, you catch them pooping every now and then, yeah. Yeah, if we take uh take stuff to the trapper, we'll uh We'll be able to craft pelts of various types of animals. I actually have a hat made of bear. Of a bear pelt. I might have a coat. And then I think I have like a wolf vest. And so there's like whole sets that you can get as well. Yeah, if you want to have like, you know, a coonskin hat or something like that, you, you definitely can. You definitely can. Yeah, it gets it gets pretty elaborate. All right. Hmm. We go over here. Let's go back to camp. How about that? It's gonna be a bit of a ride, though. Fort Riggs. Hmm. Why do I feel like there's something there that we need to do? Cardinal, rat, woodpecker. I think we saw a cardinal in this area, but... Odds are a bit low of us. So I got those pelts on the back of my horse. We'll we'll try to sell those. Or maybe just donate them to the camp. There we go. Yeah. All right. 
We'll just ride out of here. Dude, you, you legit could. Some of my streams have been pretty boring. Uh, cause we'll just, we'll just go out hunting or something. You know, we won't even do anything too crazy. You done good, girl. Or we'll go out treasure hunting. Need to just keep an eye out for some birds. Cause I have seen cardinals up in this area before. And I'm gonna have to hit it with a bow, so I don't... See, those are ravens. And you actually have to examine different types of animals. So there's a jackrabbit right there. And different animals require different, you know, different weapons. So there's a white-tailed deer. And that's... Oh, is that a horse we haven't seen before? That is a Shire with a dark bay coat. So these are heavy horses. These are these are the ones that are meant for carriages and hauling lots of cargo. I actually do need a heavy horse at some point. Yeah, because most of my horses are pretty, you know, slim and built for speed, stuff like that. But when I go hunting, it, it would be nice because you can tell it, it definitely puts a drain on the stamina of some of these lighter horses. When you're hauling like a bear carcass or something, you know. Oh no, it's starting to get a little foggy tonight. Yeah, that's going to impact our visibility a little bit. What's going on here? Boy, that is really... I'm a little scared right now. Whoa, what kind of predator is that down by the water? Yeah, you can tell she's getting a little stirred up. Yeah, we might wanna, we might wanna move on. All right. Uh, we're actually going the wrong way. Yeah, this is uh, the atmosphere just got like really creepy now. Hmm. Yeah, that was a big, big change in atmosphere right now. Hey, partner. Hi.
All right, sorry about that. I got... A new little toy. This is uh, another desk mount thing. And I'm going to put my other... Wow, that's so useful. Um... Hmm. Wow, so that has to be mounted exactly like so. Let me try that one second. Is that? Got something here. I don't know what that is. It's like a piece of plastic that's in the way. But yeah, this is the desk mount for my uh, other camera. And I'm going to use this for when I uh, stream on PC. Well, I don't know why those holes don't line up. That's kind of shitty. Guess you get what you pay for when you spend 20 bucks on a mount. My other one's just fine, but this one seems a little weird. Yeah, this definitely doesn't. This one does not seem... Yeah, like, why is it like that? This is like totally, let me see how this other one looks. There we go. Seems weird. Uh, I had a mic on an arm and it was cheap as hell, never worked the way I wanted it to. Yeah, I've got a much better arm right now. And uh, luckily, the Audio Technica um, AT2035 uh, is quite light. Uh, we're doing uh, story. I was about to say online. We're doing story. We're doing story mode again today. Uh, we just got started. We killed that old granny and her gang. Her gang of boys showed up. So it was about five of them total. Gunned them all down. Took all their money, but there wasn't. There wasn't much loot. Yeah, like, there was nothing... I mean, I looted everybody, but... And it, it shows as complete, but I, I guess it was really more of an experience than it was, like, a good opportunity to get, you know, loads of money or something, you know? Let me set this up real quick, because this is going to be cool, because when I've been streaming uh, stuff like Tarkov... Uh, I haven't been able to, you know, I've, I haven't been able to get, like, a good camera angle. And I'm actually a little worried right now. May not have thought this through. Or... Alright, let's get back to your regularly scheduled programming. Uh, you know what, what the new problem is going to be? I need like a USB extender or something.
guess I'll do this later. Yeah, this is going to require a little more setup than I thought. I'm just going to screw it on here. There's really no good way to screw a wireless camera on, or a wire, wired, wired camera onto a mount. Because you have to spin it in circles, and the wire gets keeps getting tangled up in different things. Okay. Well, I'm just going to leave it like that. figure out like a good angle uh, for when I'm doing PC streams I want to have a want to have a camera that captures But we'll have to see how it does without blocking it. Uh, let's see. That was a weird quest, but happy I looked up the camp thing. Yeah, definitely. Um, doing well, doing well. Well, hey guys, thanks for hanging out. Do appreciate that. Uh, let's see. We got a corpse over here for some reason, so I'm going to go check that out. We're on our way back to camp from the big valley. It's just, and it's really creepy out tonight. It's really creepy. I don't know what's going on. So up now. Hang on. Hang on. There's a carriage of some sort over here. Do you see? There's a note in this guy's mouth. Okay, we're going to have to find the rest of the pieces in order to put the puzzle together. Well, whatever this mystery is, it's going to be interesting, I'll, I'll say that. I think we found the first clue somewhere over here under the railroad tracks. Fucking <laughs> serial killer maniac. Yeah. Well, I guess that's why it's always good if you see a corpse nearby on the map, um, it's always good to check it out. Cause sometimes, sometimes it's, you know, some thieves 
killing each other or something, or sometimes it's just a random dead guy or like an animal attack, or or in this case, uh, we're finding more leads on the serial killer. You all right, girl? <sighs> Nose is itchy. Man, I'm so I'm so happy that arm came in. I hope it's not a cannibal. Yeah. I'm really excited because that means I don't have to move this camera around anymore and I hate it when I have to move this camera because it's so good for when I'm just playing games on console or with a controller, you know, and I don't want to, I, I don't need to, you know, this other camera is going to be for when I scoot the chair up, you know, and I'm leaning towards the mouse and keyboard and stuff. And so we can get that at a good angle, hopefully, and still get the green screen in all its glory. I'm hoping this all works out. <sighs> it's it's gonna be fun. We'll we'll do a little bit of that uh, off stream, trying to get the angles right and everything. All right, so we're gonna ride back to camp now. Go right back to camp. Let me let me go take this mug. I gotta wash this mug out real quick. Yeah, I really hope it's not cannibal myself. Yeah. I'll just uh, leave it up on the map for a second, and we're going to head there. One sec. Not even that long. All right. Oh, I'm so excited. But I am going to have to figure something out. I wonder if I do have a USB extender right here. I think I actually have one. Look at that. I was worried I was going to have to like spend another... 20 bucks because you know everything you need for your stream like even little stuff it's like oh yeah need a cable 20 bucks and that's like an extra three feet hang on i might be able to plug it up right now yeah because i can't have like some cable stretching out in front of my tv yeah, we can't do that. I need to be able to see what I'm playing. Would there be light? And it's not working. Let me pull up camera two. Yeah, it's not even turning on. Well, fuck. Well, that's me. Right. Camera two. 
It's on. All right, hang on. Mm. Look at this. Look at how professional we are here. That's my printer. Why does my mirror look like it's sideways? I think it's the camera. I think the camera's a bit askew. Yeah, I got my printer. There's chat. I got a mini fridge. Mini fridge up there in my PC case. I got lamps, there's my TV. That's the tour, that's, the, that's free. Oh yeah, this is way askew. And it's not like in the green screen. My name is Maximus Decimus Meridius, commander of the armies of the north, general of the Felix Legions. Loyal servant to the true emperor, Marcus Aurelius. Father to a murdered son, husband to a murdered wife, and I will have my vengeance in this life or the next. Cool. Oh, Marcus. How's it going, dude? Cool. Yeah, that's going to be my second camera. <laughs> Mine is so ghetto. Mine. Mine's a little bit ghetto, yeah. It's it, you know, it's getting nicer, but like it still looks like shit. Like, I the, the things I can do are gonna be really cool, but yeah, it's gonna take a while before I can get that set up. Just right. But it's gonna be cool. That's that's gonna be my PC cam to get like direct. All right, let's get back to what we're doing here. Bluer than blue, and sadder than sad. You're the only light this empty room has ever had. Life without you is gonna be bluer than blue. That's for you, Blue. It's for you, buddy. All right, we're gonna ride back to camp. That's a long way. Well, at least the fog is cleared up a little bit. All right, let's get back to the road. Let's get back to the road here. Hey there, partner. Some rabbits here. How's it going, Marcus? Easy. Whoa. What is this? Making doors or something? Yeah. Forty games of Gambit is a lot longer than I thought. Oof. Are you working on that quest? That questy quest. This this area is nice too. This is actually my favorite area to hunt. Whoa. This is down by where the first camp is in Valentine. But I really like this because you can you can start out on one of the plateaus. And then you can just look down. Hang on, let me close my phone stuff there. You want this auto rifle? Oof. Hmm. I think I need to be a little more this way. Yeah, because my... to set that other camera up later. That's weird. It actually turns the camera off. 
cameras don't usually do that. Yeah, this is better. It's hard to find good camera angles that don't block your TV. If you're up there, I can't help. Yeah. Well. Best of luck to you up there, bud. I'll see if I can curve around once I get up here. friend lose a little bit of honor yeah but yeah we'll get a cougar skin right there I'll take it Oh, you know what I need to look into is uh, one of those, you know, they have them at like, you know, an office desk or something would have that on the ground uh, for your rolling chair, you know, it's like a, it's like a mat so you can like roll around because it's hard rolling a chair on carpet. So it'd be nice if I could roll around a little quicker in this chair. Okay, my girl. Get into proper positions and stuff like that. So I might get a mat like that. That might help a little bit. It's going to be nice with Rampage and the perk that ramps up the fire rate. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, those are some good perks. Let's get there today. Ah, oh, this looks like a good fishing spot down here too. This river is actually quite nice. wolf this titan build for ad control works so well in gambit oh nice i like that like a good I like someone that can control the ads you know if i don't if i don't have my good guns man i can't do anything that's that's kind of why i've been discouraged with gambit as well is because all my high level guns suck they're, they're not good guns for Gambit. All my good guns for Gambit are like 100 levels too low. Wait, why are you, why are you sidestepping like that, girl? Don't be weird. So you can be polite to people when you talk to them, or you can just yell rude stuff at them. Or just rob them. 
It would take you no time a few times a week. Yeah. If I at least hit up the nightfalls and... You know, I still gotta do my, um... What's it called? The Whisper. Still working on that catalyst, and that's that's kind of burned me out on Destiny, because I, I cut down to doing it, you know, you know, just getting on on the weekends so I can do the Whisper thing, and the Whisper thing, you know, it's not hard, but, you know, it's, it's just, it's not really, you know, as many times as you have to do it to get it up to 100% on the catalyst, I'm not one to complain about a grind, but it's a little, it's a little dull. And to only be able to do it once a week, and then you have to wait every week, and then you have to remember that, oh yeah, this is the time I'm supposed to get on and do that. You know, especially now that I have other games. Especially games like this, I uh, just fully sink into. I don't really want to play anything else, you know? Yeah, that makes sense, though. Yeah, I'm pretty far behind. I think Xbox was I like, I think that's like 5:30 or something. I think I'm higher on PC. I'm like 5:60 or 5:70 or something. But. Easy there, girl. Uh, PS4, who knows? I probably haven't touched that much since uh, Forsaken came out. Brandy, some venison. She might need a ride. Oh, hey, it's you there. Think you can help a lady out? My horse up and died on me, twisted my ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Yeah, sure. Hop on. Oh, thank you, sir. She's gonna want to go you. to like Ting Buck Two or some bullshit. You they know always do. Emerald Ranch. Mind taking me there? Oh my god. Howdy. Emerald Ranch. I guess I could go see the fence out there. I don't know. We just rolled up here. Oh. I guess her horse died. Glad I ran into you. I raised that horse, you know. Raised it since it was just a foal. Oh, uh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, that horse did right by me. Have I killed Better Bison? Than my husband, no. Truth be told, that fool always mm -mm. complaining. Have but not. does he do something about it? There's a legendary. Um, barely lifts his hand to wave the flies away. One somewhere. Got him to lift a drink, of course. Marriage for me has been nothing but trouble. But biscuit. He was a fine animal. Loyal, smart, brave. Didn't take no guff, not from no one. Had one of them mountain boys pull a gun on me once. I was riding up near the Dakota and had stopped by a nice warm patch. Must have dozed off, but I wake up and find some nasty piece of work pointing a rusty shotgun straight at me. Well, he gets wheezing on and I must have made some sort of noise because the next thing I know, Biscuit had nipped his ear clean off. Oh, Kicked wow. Kicked his hide, too, as he was hollering away. Didn't think a man could run so fast. Oh, yeah? Yeah, had a good laugh on that one. <laughs> I tell the husband, what does he do? Should have never gone over there, honey, he says. Gee, thanks. Oh, wow. <clears throat> so, you live at Emerald Ranch, then? For the time being, I was looking for work. They was looking for some help with the gardens. 
If I waited any longer for my husband to put food on the table, I'd have died of starvation. I'll be moving on soon, though. Emerald Ranch, well, it's a strange place. How so? The owner's a mean bastard. Strange, too. Delights in bullying folk. There's a daughter, but she never leaves the house. You can see her in the window sometimes. Oh, that's when weird. When I asked about her, everybody told me to leave it alone. Found an old saloon there, all shut down now. But I went in to have a look, and there's bullet holes, old blood stains. Something definitely happened there, but I couldn't figure it. Just an uncomfortable feeling to the place. Either way, I always thought this place was Especially nice. Now, I lost that poor horse. Maybe it's just the I'll scenery, the but and be on my way. Oh, we're getting close now. Yeah, maybe this town. Maybe it needs a second look here, you know? Maybe we do need to look around here. Here we go. This is great. This was kind of you, mister. Please take this as my way of thanking you. Hmm. Appreciate it. What a lousy day. Nice talking with you, ma'am. Good luck to you. You too. All the best. So this was the saloon. Yeah, I'm gonna investigate now. I'm I'm curious. <laughs> Clean you right up. Yeah, she's pretty chatty, huh? I didn't want to interrupt her dialogue, but yeah. Cigarette card. Theobod Getson. Can you pet the kitties? I think so. I might try it. There's a lot of blood. I'm not seeing anything. That's 
the back door. Huh. Doesn't look like there's much to go on here. I think this one you can only praise or scold. Yeah. I know you can pet the dogs. I think we pet one before. And so there is definitely something there. It's locked at least. Peek through that window there. See, there's a room here, but it's all it's all shaded up. I don't know if we can shoot the door handle off. I guess that's food for the cats, cats and dogs. Help me. You okay, boy? See, you can pat a dog. Stupid. And there's something even the dog doesn't like about this building. Yeah, let's use our hunting sense. Let's. No? special about this place and see that other room doesn't even show up like it's not even on the map you know lost a little bit of honor there huh Is that a person or is that a mannequin? Morning. I'm a little bit weirded out right now. No, it's a mannequin. Yeah, like, I always thought this place was kind of, you know, kind of a nice place or something, you know? God damn jackass. Okay, okay, keep your hair on. Wait, what are you doing here? Just minding my own business. That's your idea of humor.
go in there. This is the ranch house for sure. Why that guy's being so fishy right now? Hi there, kitty. Hey, cat. Just got to rank. Taco? What's up, dude? This is turning into one of them days. this okay girl Remember you. Passed through here some time ago, huh? since you were through here. Let's see, uh, no spoilers? Yeah, sure, I'll, I'll take a clue. Yeah, if you want to say what's up. I'm, I'm quite curious about it. And I didn't, I didn't actually buy the guide for this game, and now I'm kind of wishing I had. Dude, those, yeah, I like those little kitty cat emotes. They're really cute.
<laughs> Ugh. Sorry about that migraine. Yeah, that does sound not so great. I got something else in the mail today. I didn't I didn't actually check in the box. Because UPS isn't supposed to put things in the mailbox, but sometimes they do. But I got my Game Changer Plus pedal in. We might... Remember you. Wrong, wrong scene. The murder details can't be solved in Emerald Ranch. Huh. Just having coffee, still trying to wake up. Oof. Oh, wow. So it's like a, a pedal or a piano or a keyboard, you know? But this is designed specifically for guitars. And so I have blend, sustain, the rise, which is the beginning of it, and the tail end. Now I can also put it into group, single mode, split, mix. It's got an FX loop, all this other stuff. It's it's got a learning decent learning curve to it. So once I figure it out, we're we're gonna make some really cool, fun little sustain stuff. It really does look sexy, and it. It was 300 bucks, so this was my, this was my main uh, Black Friday gift to myself. I mean, the pedal was on sale over $60 on sale, so I decided, you know what, since I'm doing all this church guitar stuff and I, I just generally like lots of sustain and, uh, and uh, it, it's really cool how it can just continuously hold. Um, notes or chords all the different things it can do I actually have a little video of it in the discord if you want to look back in the general chat a couple of messages you will find a video about the game changer plus so. but let's get back to it Any, anytime UPS is dropping stuff off or, or whatever what have you uh the stream always gets interrupted with, uh, look at my loot. Yeah, it's a pretty cool video. So I'll probably have to watch that video again just to kind of get my bearings. Because there's a lot of settings there. A lot of really cool stuff. Let's go back to camp now. No more ferrying ladies here and there. interfered with stuff like that dude taco we need to play some rainbow six and some payday two sometime get you me joe and jassy it's almost a full team yeah he sounds a little guilty huh If, if we had to convict him on the spot. <laughs> oh, he did that shit. What chapter am I in? I think I'm still stuck in chapter three. <laughs> 
Yeah. We haven't we haven't made much progress as far as chapters go. I'm down for some Rainbow Six or Payday. Hmm. Yeah, I always forget how far ahead I am of, of you in time. Because I think, I think I sent a message at like 9 or 10. And I was like, oh, wait a minute. He's, he's two hours behind. Like, he's not even waking up yet. Oh, man. Yeah, maybe we could... Uh, it'd be cool to get you in on uh, whichever one you want to start playing first. Definitely sleeping in. Yeah, heck yeah. Yeah, that's my girl. <laughs> yeah, I took most of yesterday to get in some naps and sleep and lurk on a couple of streams. That was great. That was really nice. Because I didn't take Wednesday night off. I ended up playing a little bit of Fallout. And I really just need a day where I kind of just don't play games or do anything, you know? So it kind of felt good last night to just lurk, not even really chat too much. Just watch streams. Yeah, tell me which game you think you're more curious to play first. You want to jump in on Payday or you want to try some Rainbow Six first? You want to be the bad guys or you want to be the cops? Be the SWAT team, basically. Rainbow Six is like a glorified international SWAT team. Whereas, you know, the boys in Payday were just robbing people in Washington, D.C. New Jersey, New Jersey. It started raining yesterday. Oh man, I bet that is nice. I love this camp spot even more than the first one. I just like how it's by this beautiful, beautiful area where we can go fishing, big wide open. And then, you know, it's kind of got those trees, you know, so we got some coverage. What am I doing? I don't know why I did that. Are you busy, Arthur? Uh, hang on, Trelawney. Hang on. I want to sell those pelts, because anytime you have pelts or whatever, whatever all that stuff is, uh, you want to you wanna sell those or get rid of them before you go into a cutscene. Alright, I'll tell you what, I'll knock out one mission here, and uh, I'll jump on some Rainbow Six with you, and we'll, we'll give you the run-through. How about that? What we doing so far south, Arthur? I don't like it. Seems as good a place as any to get chased by the law, Miss Tilly. You ain't so dumb as that, Arthur. I'm a Negro. I know. I'll keep you safe, Miss Tilly. My mama was a slave until she was 15 years old, Arthur. I'll keep you safe, miss. You have my word. Yeah, I got you, Tilly. 100% all the time. Anuba clock. You know what? They're not gonna net me much funds. 
So we're just gonna do it. It's not even all that cold here and I'm using the heater. Oof. It, it can get fairly cold. It's very rare, but usually gets down in the teens or 20s at its coldest, typically. But today, today's not bad. Uh, hang on. Yeah, so there's like a high of 66, low of 37-ish. Yeah, it's it's kind of been in the 30s lately. Like, you know, sometimes in the 60s or 70s or whatever. That's not bad. Oh, Mr. Morgan. I've jotted down a few things that I think could be a nice addition. I need a buck and an elk. Yeah, I need to get all these different. I keep forgetting to bring this guy pelts, you know. We need to get... Oh, did we not... Did we not give him the cougar pelt? Oh, we need two. Oh, they gotta be perfect. Yeah. And that one wasn't perfect, because I hit him with a bolt action in the face. Uh, especially Southern Californians are weak to the cold, yeah. I, I think Texans are pretty weak. <laughs> weak to the cold. We all... Everybody complains, because we never really get it quite as bad as as the people up up north and out to the east people up north and northeast you know they get they get really cold weather and we complain you know when it gets a little nippy but yeah let me see what trelawney wants here and then uh switch it over to rainbow six Again. Uh, we've all done it. And you saved my life again. Well, maybe one day you'll save my or my soul. <laughs> yeah, I'd like that. Don't make fun of me. Oh, I'm sorry. Anyway, it wasn't a complete waste of time. I stole this from one of those awful men. You should have it. Thank you, but you were blind drunk. I was oh. drunk, but I never forget my manners. Be well, Mr. Morgan. That was so weird. He was like acting like he was gonna hand it to me. And then he like walks away still holding it. Oof. I have not caught any legendary fish, but I haven't tried yet. Yeah, let's see what Trelawney wants here. Just some effete buffoon. What? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you We need to try. He's an eel and an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've I found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. I would have even thought. Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head. Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. friend of yours roads because what can possibly go wrong there well 
Lead the way and we'll find out. I haven't played a Tom Clancy game in ages, huh? You know me. I like to make friends and Oh, dude, we're going to have a great time. We'll we'll get some practice in some uh, terrorist hunts where it's just us against the bad boys. We'll figure out what kind of guns you like, different characters, what have you. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats. Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until well, you might shoot Joe a message and see if he wants wall. to play here in about yeah, fifteen or so. That's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I've done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know. You boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Anyway, while they're off chasing their pot of Confederate gold hidden at the end of some rainbow, let me present you with something real. So, where exactly are we going? The train station. The clerk there, Alden, is quite a fellow. Very informed on the comings and goings of coaches around these parts. Ah, I see. Okay. Giddy up. Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. You got to pull off a train robbery on your own at some point. We might, yeah, we might do that. Uh, I think. Hmm. Come on, hang back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. We might do that I next chance we get. Bill asked me to give you a message to meet him here in town as soon as you can. Something to do with the craze. I thought I'd nab you first. You did? Okay. Thanks. There it is. Yep, that's the word in town. Hello, Alden. <gasps> Hello, Josiah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Yeah, best at night. Terrible. I think that's a good Wait, call. We'll set the scene. Invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel, the witness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. Now her sounds good. My friend Arthur here. Maybe we can get some practice you? games in. Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Martha. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there. Feller called Hector. He's also one of the what did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it. Discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden. Or should I say adieu? Oh, adieu, Josiah. Hmm. Interesting. What the hell was that? 
I thought you might Coach coming that south that down way. River Road through Siltwater Strand. Valuables in the strong box. Passenger and very wealthy. Mrs. Chester Damson. Aspiring but appalling opera singer. Use your imagination. River Road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Okay, right. let's go. This way. Here we go. Oh, you were wanting tacos, but the delivery fees were high? Oof. Yeah, that is... Yeah, because, you know, they, they want you to have, like, a minimum, but, you know, if you're just ordering for what yourself, you? you know, Simple as it's hard to be. meet that minimum. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance, the unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry, could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. All this trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? All right. Which way are we going, nerd? $20 Mexican food. Yeah, that is a lot. Here we are. This is the spot. That'd probably be enough for a week or more. Whoa. Okay. This should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, better safe than sorry. What were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. A lockpick. I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden, very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. There it is. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for one. Small joke. 
Would you smooth me something for me? I, I'm looking for a man. Miss Damson, you owe it to West Elizabeth. Might I have your card? The event is on the 23rd of this month. <laughs> I can't say enough about Mrs. Damson. Magnifico. So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. Well done, sir. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's always good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. So Alden will give us tips, huh? $768, gang share $375, your share $206. That's not bad at all. Not a bad take at all. And Bill wants to see us in town. Alright, I think we'll we'll go back to the camp and I'll just save. And then uh we'll we'll try out some Rainbow Six with El Taco here. Pretty well done. It's weird their American money isn't of different size, makes shit harder for blind people. Hmm. Yeah. They don't really have anything like that. Big whale kale. How's it going, dude?
All right, I'm just gonna save because I I like I like to start out near camp or at a camp. Ugh, doing good. We're about to switch over to some Rainbow Six with the man himself, El Taco Justice. Uh, he just picked up the game on sale. Uh, he picked up that in Payday Two recently. And so uh, we're gonna be dipping into those a little bit, a little bit, right? So yeah, just give me a sec while we uh, set this up here. scared all right uh, let me pop in rainbow six Just relaxing, trying to, still trying to get over that, huh? Oh, man. I hope you get to feeling better soon. Went to work today. Nice, nice, nice. Part of the day. We're getting it set up here. I'm going to have to go offline for a second because i got to close OBS to reopen it so I can use my headphones. It will not switch sound. It will not switch sound. Sorry I got that so loud. Um, can't even hear myself think. I gotta do that so the sound will switch over to my headphones. It won't do it otherwise. DVD trapped. Thank you for the host, dude. Should pop up now. It's going good, man. We're about to start some Rainbow Six with El Taco. Get him, get him introduced to the game. Um, yeah, you're right there on the leaderboard. One of the bots had you beat. So I had to I had to remove the bot. I don't allow bots to be uh, on the leaderboard. But yeah, you crack the top ten. And there's just so many bots, and you have to like ban them individually from your currency thing, and it's a pain. Skynet down. Alright, let me uh, get the title all set up here. Home Clan C. Just give me one second and we will be right back.